Today we're talking about a super juicy topic, pricing and how I pick prices for everything in my business. I have a very specific process that I follow and I'm going to share it with you right now. Basically, I break down my pricing process into four different groups. So what I usually do is I'll take a piece of paper. Let me get a piece of paper. Okay, so when it comes to pricing, basically what I do is I take out a sheet of paper and I split it into four quadrants. So the first quadrant is the first one we're going to do, which is called feeling. So what I do in the feeling quadrant is I basically sit with myself and the in the offer that I'm trying to find a price for and I ask myself, all right, what feels like a good price for this? And I know this seems really unscientific, but I'm all about following your intuition and your gut first and then going through all the logic and reasoning after that. So what this is about is not about, you know, what will people pay for or what is a good price for me to make a lot of money or anything like that. It's about what just feels like that first initial amount that I want. And what I'll do in this quadrant is I'll write down a price and then I'll look at it and then I'll like, I'll add a hundred dollars or I'll double it or something like that. And I'll just sit with each of those numbers and really feel how they feel. What feels good? What feels like Ugh, too much? What feels like, oh, that's not enough at all. So that's what you're going to do in the first quadrant is really practice listening to your gut and your intuition. Okay. So then the, the next step is step two, which is value. So in the second quadrant, we're talking all about what is the value of your offer to the person who is consuming that offer, who is purchasing that offer. You need to really think about all of the benefits that your offer is producing in someone else's life. What are the results someone's gonna get from your offer? Put on your copywriting cap and really think of what am I creating in someone else's life and what is the monetary value that I can attach to that reality that I'm creating for them. And, and it doesn't matter what industry you're in, you have to do this. There has to be a monetary value. And you shouldn't be comparing it to what other people's pricing are. The whole point of this is to not compare it to your competition or anything like that. What you're purely looking at is what is the value that I am creating in someone else's life. And you're gonna, you're gonna put those numbers there. And try to ignore this column if you can as you go into the second quadrant. Okay, and then once you've figured out the value of what you're creating, the third thing you're gonna do is think about you. <laughs> you're gonna think about what do you need to make? How long does it take you to produce this offer? If it's a service, you wanna think about how much pre-work is there for me? How many things can I automate in this process so that I can maximize the revenue here? How long does the service itself take? Um, how much does it take out of me? So maybe it takes an hour to do the session, but it really takes me three hours to recuperate after that session. If you're doing really creative work, you can do about a fourth of the creative work that you can do in, a t in the time of doing non-creative work. So you really want to consider that. And then think about, so how many of these can I do in a, a, a day, a week, a month, a year? And what do I need to make in order to make this a viable option? So you're really doing the math on your ROI here. What is the return on investment for this offer and really consider other offers in your business too. So this, if this isn't your sole income source, then uh, what are you getting from all your other offers and how much do you need to be getting from this one to really make it an exciting thing for you to be offering? In the fourth quadrant where it says final, you're going to play with each of these numbers and sort of see um, what you've come up with. Are they really similar? Are they really different? Which ones do you like the most? Which ones surprised you? Maybe you realized you're creating a lot of value for people and that you should price it a lot higher. Maybe you've realized you need to add more value into your offer so that you can price it higher. Maybe you've realized that um, you only need to sell a few in order to make it viable. So that could be really exciting. And then you're going to play around with the final numbers here. I think at this point, you really do have a good gut feeling on this feels right for me. But what I do advise you do uh, you do is that you set this sheet aside for a day, you sleep on it, and then you come back to it. I don't advise going and asking other people unless they are your mentors and people in your mastermind group or something like that who you really trust to give you good business advice, but to come back to it the next day and just pick a number. Pick one that really feels good to you. And that is the number that you should be using for your pricing. And that's it. That's my, that's my pricing process. If you really like that video, I know a lot of entrepreneurs could use this really simple process for pricing their offers. Please do share this video with 
everyone you know. Also, make sure to subscribe to get your copy of the free copywriting cheat sheets if you don't have them already. They will help you to get a better gist of what value you're offering. And I will see you in the next video. Bye.